two, one. Mission. And liftoff. God speed is ever increasing. It was 5.49 a.m. when SpaceX once again lit up the Florida sky. A perfect flight tracked all the way up the East Coast. But at 1.24 p.m., Mission Control warned the crew of Dragon that their ship would come uncomfortably close to a piece of space junk. One of tens of thousands of pieces NASA constantly tracks. The crew ordered back into their spacesuits because of the unlikely chance of a collision. We do need you to immediately proceed with suit donning and securing yourselves in seats. OK, we're getting in the suit and uh, we copy off. A few minutes later, the space junk, possibly a piece of an old satellite, passed by 28 miles away. Today's SpaceX mission, the first to reuse both a rocket and the spaceship. Pilot Megan MacArthur sitting in the same seat her husband, astronaut Bob Bankin, sat in a year ago. I'm like a baby bird here, relearning how to move around in uh, microgravity. And NASA has now selected SpaceX to build the ship that will carry astronauts back to the surface of the moon, including the first woman. It's been now almost half a century since humans were last on the moon. It's too long. We need to get back there. So this Dragon mission arrives at the space station early Saturday morning. One complication, they don't have enough beds for all 11 people who will be on the station. So at least two astronauts will have to get into a sleeping bag and tie themselves to a wall until four astronauts that arrived in November come back to Earth sometime next week. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.